Good afternoon guys, this is Ross. Just a little today that I would touch on a subject um, that's sort of been playing, uh, not sort of bouncing around in my mind for the last couple of months or so. I've sort of realised that people say that prepping wise there's um, there's no, often a lot of people say there's no point, what if nothing happens? I figured that something is, it's inevitable that something will happen. There is pretty much no way back from the situation ec economically and socially where we are now. Um, I mean, in America, for example, there's been three mass shootings, sorry, four mass shootings, I believe, within the last three weeks. There is something deeply wrong with society. Um, Money-wise as well, I read, I'm sure I read somewhere that something like only 40% of the money that exists, or the money that electronically and physically exists, actually physically exists because of debt. Um, so there is no way possibly in the entire world that we can ever pay our debt back any country. There will always either be um, some countries in serious debt or completely balanced debt. There is not enough money in the world even if we, everyone in the world all piled their money together to pay all of the world's debt, there'd only be something like 40% of it. So it's inevitable that something is going to click at some point and something's going to happen. Um, that's my main reason for preparedness, economic-wise, is what my main sort of drive is. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much the video. Just to say, as far as I can see it, there's no way back from where we are now. And touching on society as well, it's just something has to click at some point. There's more and more mass murderers and mass murderers, sorry, mass murders and killings every day and it's just something something is going to click at some point and all hells are going to break loose now I'm not going to say it's going to be a Mad Max situation but we are going to have tough times and I can definitely see it ahead it's impossible to 99.999% um, of it not happening and when it does 99% of the population aren't going to know what's hit them so this is why I'm just this is that's my main reason for prepping um, and just to say there is no way back um, I, or at least I can't see a way back uh, from where we are now because like I said only 40% of the money that supposedly exists actually exists so yeah just to t just to prove a point when people say oh there's no point in prepping nothing's gonna happen um, even if it does it will all be sorted out there is not enough money to sort it out um, there is someone or a certain group of people um, Illuminati, New World Order, whatever you want to call them that have all this debt going straight to them they are the only people that can solve this problem and that's not gonna happen so this is just a warning to everyone you need to start even if it's basic things I mean just start um, with some basic food supplies um, and gradually build it up like I've done now I reckon I've got I hate to say it because I used to think I had sort of three months food supply I reckon I've got a month in this cupboard here a month will just do it um, especially when you backed it up with seeds and stuff obviously you can't grow enough to feed yourself but even if you just go today um, go today it's the afternoon now I'm actually filming this at night but when I put this up it'll be the afternoon um, it's the afternoon now go down to the shops and get sort of two bags of rice just as a starter a pound which is what a dollar fifty if that just two small bags of rice and if you go to the shop from now on, every single time you go to the shop and just pick up a pound or a dollar fifty's worth of rice, your stocks are gradually going to build up. Um, so you can prepare your family for the, what is the economic storm that I see is pretty much inevitable. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, sorry it can be on a lighter note, but I just thought I had to get it off my chest. There is no way back from where we are now, and I want everyone to, to sort of realise this in their head. There is it's there is no way back from where we are now because there is not enough money. I don't care how many bailouts they put forward. All of these bailouts, what they pay for, paid with credit, which is just creating an even bigger problem, um, bigger than a lot of people, and I think even I realise. So um, yeah, 
just a warning to, guy, to the guys on YouTube and everyone watching my videos, um, also the girls as well, guys and girls on YouTube and everyone who's watching my videos, just to, even if you, I know a lot of my subscribers are preppers, but if you're not a prepper, just begin to think, well it's not going to hurt, is it, to go, in, to go out next time I go to the shop um, and get an extra two, little two bags of rice, it's only going to be a pound or a dollar fifty or whatever your currency is, it's not going to be much unless you're in Zimbabwe where it's going to be like thousands of pounds for a bag of rice, well it's not thousands of pounds, look. I don't know, £100 for a bag of rice, I don't know, but I know they've got a big problem with inflation there. So, yeah, just, it's not going to hurt to have those extra bits. If you have to throw them away, you have to throw them away um, it, when, you don't, when you don't use them. If you do use them and you don't have them, I'm not going to be held responsible, and neither is the government, for what's going to happen. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.